next we have our Allied Health and Sciences building. Here houses our healthcare field programs as well as general sciences. We also have state-of-the-art simulation technology labs here. Hi folks, I'm Terry. I'm a student campus representative and we're here in the lobby of the Allied Health building. Hey, we're on the first floor um, where we have labs, general education classes. We also do chemistry, anatomy, geology, and much more. This is a really cool building. Okay, so here we are at the garden level of the Allied Health building and we dedicate this area to the radiologic technology program. Let's call it RadTech for short, that's a little easier. We practice here and learn on real equipment just like you see in hospitals and clinics. Take x-rays of bones, only we use plaster bones instead of practicing on each other. Also in Allied Health on the first floor, we have the anatomage room. Now this is a 3D interactive table used to study anatomy. And as I said, 3D interactive, you can see that we're doing some direction of the skeleton here. We are the first school west of the Mississippi to have one. And we actually have two with the Ames campuses, one in Greeley and one in Windsor. Students can study virtual cadavers similar to a live dissection lab. Here we are on the second floor of the Allied Health Building. This is home to the majority of our Allied Health degree and certificate programs. Those are nursing, surgical technology, phlebotomy, nurse aid or CNA, sterile processing, and medical clinical assisting. These programs are in very high demand, so they do have a separate admissions process or a wait list, but your advisor will tell you about that. You can also see that it looks like a hospital in here, and that's intentional because we want our students to feel like they're in that hospital environment. So you'll also see students wearing scrubs. Here we are in our simulated hospital room where our nursing students practice their craft. You'll see the beds with sick people that are controlled by our nursing instructors. So they can actually control when the sim people bleed or sweat or even have a baby. So say hi to sim mom. Students are extremely prepared before working with live patients and clinicals and their careers because they practiced on our sim people first. Here we are in our simulated operating room, which is where our surgical technology students, or surge tech for short, practice for their careers. They practice with and learn on real surgical equipment, just as they would in a hospital or a surgical center. As with all our allied health programs, we like to keep class sizes small, which gives students more hands-on practice and increased access to their instructors, just to make sure all our students are as successful as possible. 